Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be talking about Chloe Ting and Pamela Ree, two of my favorite fitness bloggers on Instagram and here on YouTube. Both of them have their individual styles and I'm just going to be sharing some of my viewpoints and sharing some of the differences they both have. And maybe this will help you determine which one is better to start out with um, in your fitness journey or just maybe inspire you to try one of them if you haven't. If you guys are new here, make sure to subscribe and also follow me on Instagram. I feel like I miss saying that all the time in my videos. So please follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. And I guess without further ado, let's just jump on into comparing the two fitness bloggers or vloggers. So I'm sure you guys have all heard of Chloe Ting. She is a big influencer here. You always see the Chloe Ting challenge videos. I absolutely love her. I started out working with her and it was just not her personally, but I mean, I started working out on my journey with her videos and I honestly love them so much. I think that if you are starting out, you should definitely give her a try. Then I jumped into Pamela Reef and I fell in love with her workouts. I feel like she is just so motivating. And if you watch her Instagram stories, she's just so kind. I feel like she really develops like a relationship with her subscribers or followers, even though she sometimes speaks German in some of her content on Instagram and it's kind of hard to understand obviously because I don't speak German but um, I just love her energy and just the way she is in her videos and she's very like serious and stuff so I really enjoy that so I guess comparing the two I have a few notes written down but I'm just gonna kind of speak extemporaneously, I think that's the word, I don't know, um, about the two fitness bloggers. So the first note I wanna to touch on is like range of motion. Chloe Ting's workouts, you're moving a lot. There's not a lot of holds, right? So in Pamela's, there's a lot of holds, like squat holds, planks for like days on end. There's a lot of holds, there's ab hold. And in Chloe's, there's a lot of jumping, moving, like range of motion is what I wrote down, just because you're constantly, your body's in motion. It's not necessarily in one spot holding, so you have to build up that muscle. Even Chloe's planks in one of her newest videos, you're in a plank, but you're like lifting these weights. So that's still motion. Pamela's, you have the weight and you're like holding in a squat like for 30 seconds. That was the main point that I wanted to drive home with the workouts. Um, there's a lot more motion and cardio, I believe in all of Chloe's. There's more strength building in Pamela's. I think this is obvious, but Chloe talks in her videos and I really like that because she introduces the exercise. She says what you should be doing, like engaging your core or like how it's supposed to be. And with Pamela, it's literally just straight out music. And I think that it's great because on the flip side, Pamela has awesome music, whereas Chloe Ting, you can clearly tell she uses like uncopyrighted stuff, which is fine being a YouTuber. I have no hate against that, but I don't know how Pamela gets away with it, but I honestly love Pamela's choice of music, but I wish she would like talk a little bit, kind of like Chloe, introduce the exercise, do it, and then the music. That's another main difference that the two of them have. Also, I wanna talk about breaks. So in Chloe's workouts, a lot of the time, you get at least a five, 10 second, 15 second break. Whereas Pamela, I don't know if I mentioned, but that was Chloe. Chloe, you get some breaks. Pamela, you do not get any breaks. So I feel like when I'm doing the exercise in Pamela's, I like just have to stop because like, I know I'm not gonna get a break. However, in Chloe's, I try to power through because I'm like, okay, I'm gonna get like a sip of water and a little break after this. So just keep that in mind as well. You do get some breaks. The levels of difficulty are also a bit different, but it's how you look at it because I feel like with Chloe Ting's, I get out of breath so much faster than when I do Pamela's. But I feel like Pamela's are harder in the sense I don't know, you just kind of have to do it. I know this is not a very good description, but definitely just like try them both out. Like try a 20 minute workout of Pamela's and a 20 minute workout of Chloe's and just try it because they're both difficult, but in different ways. I think it goes back to the motion and the more holds and strength building, but both of them are probably equally as challenging, but in different ways. 
Another similarity they have, they're very engaged with their audience. I feel like I've messaged Chloe Ting and she's actually responded. That was back when I started my fitness journey and stuff. She really pays attention to you. And even though Pamela hasn't like really noticed me or anything, um, she definitely connects with her audience and shares stories. And I see that in her stories and on her social media. Um, they're both very engaged with their audience and really connected. And I really like that. In both of their workouts, there's a lot of similar movements and exercises. So in a lot of Pamela's ab workouts, she has a lot of the similar same workouts in her other workouts. Same with Chloe. In Chloe's ab workouts, there's a lot of similar workouts. So essentially they have their both their styles and everything, and they kind of add on or manipulate their own workouts. So it's either more challenging or less challenging. And sometimes they have similar workouts to each other. And that goes with any workout blogger, I think, because I mean, there's only so many workouts that you could do at home. When it comes to their weighted workouts though, I believe that Chloe Ting's workouts, her weighted workouts are harder than Pamela's. I recently completed my first week of the Chloe Ting 2021 challenge workout guide and let me tell you it is definitely harder than i expected it to be and i was pleasantly surprised because i have been doing pamela's workouts for so long and i was like going back to chloe ting i don't know if i'm going to feel the challenge like i do with pamela and i was kind of nervous about that but in all honesty her weighted workouts chloe's weighted workouts i think are harder than pamela's and i am still sore like my arms are still sore from Chloe's workout. Whereas whenever I did weighted workouts like dirt with Pamela's, I've never felt like super sore after one, especially the booty with Chloe's booty weighted workout. My butt hurt for a good two days after that and I was just shocked. So definitely if you want to start out with weights or whatever, I would definitely try Pamela's before you jump into Chloe's just because I think Chloe's are definitely harder. Another thing I wanted to add, cardio and motion of the body will help you lose weight and that's just my honest opinion and I think I got that advice from Chloe and that's why I think so many people have had so much success with Chloe's workouts rather than maybe a slower paced working out fitness blogger because Chloe really pushes you and gets the cardio element in almost all of her videos let's talk about Pamela and Chloe's full body workouts. When I do Pamela's full body workout, it's definitely a full body workout, but she does more like isolated workouts for one thing. Chloe does the same thing, but I feel like a lot of Chloe's full body workouts incorporate a lot of cardio and a lot of full body motion jumping just because how you lose the fat, how you burn a lot of calories is definitely with the hit style workouts. And that's just my opinion. Again, and I'm not licensed in this, but I feel like Chloe's is definitely the route to go. If you're a beginner, if you want to lose, you know, an inch or two or whatever off your stomach, definitely go the Chloe route. But Pamela is very much strength training and with a combination of cardio. But definitely, I think if you're starting out, try out Chloe Ting because she really gets you prepped and ready. If I just jumped into Pamela's workouts, I feel like I would be not as strong. I wouldn't have been able to get through everything and vice versa. With this new workout plan that I'm doing with Chloe, I probably couldn't have done it without the help of Pamela's workouts. I feel like they feed off of each other really well because I can get through a whole set of Chloe's like mountain climbers and then like jumping jacks and then like high knees or whatever because Pamela's are just so intense and like because you don't get a break with Pamela, like you do get a break with Chloe. So I feel like I can get through that more. So they both play off of each other really well, but I think you should start out with Chloe Ting just to give yourself the full push and then try other people's workouts. I do know that some of you guys want me to try other people to 
work out with but i don't know i really like the two that i'm i'm working with oh also i wanted to add a quick little side note both of their programs routines and sets and whatever they're all free so that's the amazing thing um on pamela's instagram she has her weeks and everything and then she has like the plan there you could just like screenshot it and then chloe she has her website chloe ting.com i believe i don't know i'll link it down below if you want to check it out but like all of her plans are there and they're all like free so you have all of these resources and everything for you for free so i think that's another plus that both of them have. But anyway, that is going to be pretty much it for this video. I hope this provided you some insight on the two fitness bloggers and what they have to offer. I definitely think that I wouldn't be here today without either one of them. So I just wanna say like, thanks to ever see this. That would be kind of cool, but um, yeah. So if you guys enjoyed this, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know down below if you've tried any of their workout plans or workouts and what you think of them. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.